What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a short and sweet video. I'm going to get straight to the point. We are going to be talking about Patrick Vieira. We're going to be comparing him against some of the best free players and some of the best cards that have ever released. Is Patrick Vieira really in the game meta absolute beast? Well, a lot of the points with this card are made in game. I mean, as we see Vieira here, he is the complete box to box, right? He's part of the English League Guardians. He goes to 99 without the manager boost. Phenomenal card, phenomenal player. And he does play above his stats. A lot of the time with Vieira, lads, he just covers so much ground. He's so tall, so long, and he's able to block a lot of chances from even happening, right? Now, his booster is the first disappointment I have with this card, right? Now, we're going to give a look at these cards here. And you might want to pause the video on in a little bit um, because we're going to be doing a brilliant comparison uh, between some of the best cards that I've ever used as box to box or destroyers and also talking about the two best cards that are probably in the game at the moment where Vieira does kind of slot in beside, right? So his physicality plus two booster is a little bit of a disappointment. I would have liked to have seen him probably get his defense boosted up a little bit so that you didn't have to pump in as many stats if you were just having him as your complete destroyer. Now, if you're pairing him with an anchorman, that's going to be slightly different because you won't need to go as heavy with the defense. But what we're doing here is we're probably giving you the best version of the card, right? And he's just solid across the board. He's tall, he's strong, he's physically very, very quick. Um, even though his stats aren't, you know, into the 90s or anything like that with speed and acceleration, right? So a lot of questions have come in about Vieira. One of the biggest ones is how he compares to the likes of Free Bellingham or even standard Rice or Sangara or William ba Wilson Barrios or Wilmar Barrios or whatever his name is, lads. Barrios, anyway, you know who Barrios is. Any of these cars that you're seeing here. So this is kind of a good example of where Vieira kind of shines, right? So from left to right, every stat that is in green is going to be a stat that the player is better than Vieira in. And then the stats in red are going to be stats that they are worse than Vieira in. So it's very simple. Um, usually these are color coordinated differently based on the high rated stats and the low rated stats. But for example, going from left to right, you can see there that Declan Rice's standard card does compare quite well apart from the tackling. I mean, we've got Patrick Vieira here with 99 tackling, 95 aggression, which is phenomenal. No player is even going to come close to those stats uh, on the pitch. I mean, he just behaves in a completely different way um, when he has the ball, you know, and a lot of the legends and big time boosters do have that kind of force field around them where they just block stuff and they've got different animations that they just seem to be able to block passing lanes. Now, the one thing I will say that really, really shines true and is a big slight on this card as your destroyer, if you're playing him as a defensive player, is when we actually compare him to probably two of the best DMFs that they've ever released, which is Destroyer Makalele and Destroyer Davids, we are going to see here that it kind of levels the playing field a little bit. And also on top of that, right, Patrick Vieira does not have blocker. He doesn't have blocker straight off the rip. He does have interception. He does have fighting spirit. And he does have some really, really unique player skills, such as low lofted pass and way to pass, which is brilliant. But he does not have blocker, right? So that's a big kind of downfall for this card comparing him to Makalele or Davids. Now, Makalele does not have blocker either on his card. He does have the rest of the cards or rest of the player skills that I said, but Davids does have off the rip. He does have blocker. So if you are not able to do the legacy transfer and you don't get lucky enough that you're able to get a blocker skill, right? I think you should have by now. I mean, listen, if you if you have 50 skill trainers, you definitely will get a blocker and that will sort you, right? Or you might have a player that you were using as a DMF that you can sacrifice for Vieira to have blocker but when you look at the rest of the stats there you can see that mccalady has got better defensive awareness engagement acceleration and stamina um and the same with davids i mean davids card was absolutely phenomenal i know people have been talking about kante as well i could compare him with different cards if you want to see a comparison on different cards i can do autographic for that but this is still a really 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 strong card that you know tackling aggression all of those stats are going to be key and I, I found as well as with Vieira, right? Vieira, for me, even the old legend card that I've been using for months and months and months, he just seems to get on the ball in really good positions. His big weakness, I suppose, is finishing and getting into the box um, and being able to do anything with it. But that's not really his role, you know what I mean? His role is kind of just to be a bit of a bulldozer and a destroyer. So, yeah, apart from those little downfalls of the card, let me know what you guys think of Vieira. That's just a quick and easy video, straight to the point. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in a bit.